Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, <laughs> Althea Hurst, team lead of the Hurst Home Team and CEO of Hurst Homes and Investments. Um, I wanted to do this video because of course I'm going to be bringing a lot of content to this channel of where I'm going to be talking a lot about real estate, entrepreneurship, inspiration, things of that nature. But ultimately I want to connect with my audience. Like that's something that's very, very important with me because I want for you all to know that I am just like you. You know, I have an abundance of success. I have a story behind me. There are things that I've experienced and I'm pretty sure a lot of my stories can help transform you. So I just wanted to make this video so that way I can tell you guys about my process and how I got started in real estate and what real estate has done for me. So let's jump right in. All right, so I got started in real estate back in 2000 and I got licensed back in the end of 2016. What got me started in real estate, everyone, was because I was actually in the process of trying to buy my own home. At the time, I owned a hair company, which was called Fame Show LLC, where I sold hair bundles, and I was also a police officer for the Federal Bureau of Investigations, the FBI. Um, and I was using that income in order to purchase my property. And it was a really, really big goal of mine to purchase my home because number one, um, I had lived back and forth in my mom's house, and two, I had rented out on my own as well. But of course, and when I got to a certain age, I no longer wanted to live with my mom. And I mean, at that point, it was myself, my boyfriend at the time, who's now my husband, um, his son, which I also call my baby as well. And then we ended up pregnant. So it was four of us, me, him, and our two kids um, living in my mom's basement. And I was like, you know, this just isn't life. So then we moved out and we moved into a single family home, but we were renting it. And it was amazing, don't get me wrong, but we did not have ownership. And one thing that has always been extremely important to me was wealth building. I've always, always wanted to build wealth. And I've always to this day say that, hey, I am definitely going to build wealth because that's something that's very, very important to me. So we ended up um, renting that house for like a year. And then while we were renting the house, we were looking for a property to buy. So we were looking for this house to buy and we went through so many different homes. Um, we went through over, maybe around about two to three different realtors and we thought we had found the house, right? If I be honest with you, just to, you know, not to make it short, we were under contract for three different properties and all of them fell through. But the final one, we were thinking to ourselves, like, okay, we're really doing something here. Like, okay, this is a new construction property. It was being built by Ryan Holmes and Ward off Maryland. And we were like super, super excited. So once our lease was up on the house that we were renting, we was like, listen, we're not gonna renew our lease. We're just gonna have to bite the bullet a little bit and move in with my mom and stay there until our house is ready and completely built. So my mom was okay with that and we weren't married. So my mom made us sleep in separate rooms and a baby would be back and forth between our rooms. So it was just like something that we could not wait to get over with, of course. So we're building a property and we're super excited. Like we made it to the construction. We made it to the studio. We made it to the pre-drywall walkthrough. I mean, everything was absolutely amazing. And we were like so emotionally attached to the property and we were excited. And then maybe around about six to five weeks before closing. I mean, literally all they had to do was go in and like lay the carpet and clean up the property. So maybe like six to five weeks before closing, we get a phone call from the lender saying that the loan cannot go through. And I'm like, what do you mean that the loan cannot go through? We've already made it this far. Why is this continuing to happen? And they're like, oh, well, the loan officer that was originally working with you guys is no longer here. And um, what we are seeing is that he did your file completely wrong. You have business income that wasn't accounted for. And the business income that wasn't accounted for looked like a debt on your taxes, which also mean it came out of your standard income. So it actually looks like you make less than what you truly make on paper. And unfortunately we cannot approve the loan. So the deal is dead. And I was so heartbroken. So the way that I just explained it to you all is how I can explain it to myself in, in today's moment. But back then, if I'll be honest, it wasn't explained to me that way. And as a first time home buyer, 
It was depressing. I had felt betrayed. I felt like I just wanted to give up completely, discouraged and dismayed. I felt like confused. And I also felt like, okay, home ownership will never be for me because this is the third property and something just keeps happening. So um, I remember after I got off the phone with the lender, I literally fell to my knees. Like I just fell to my knees. Like my, my entire soul and everything felt like it left my body. Cause I'm like, here we are living in my mom's house. We already gave up this rental property. Now I got to get this money back. I don't have a house and I can't even understand why. Because in that moment, it still wasn't fully articulated to me why. And I was so confused and it was hard for anybody in the business at that moment to break it down to me in layman's terms so that I, as an emotional first time home buyer, could understand the process and what I was going through in that moment. Like I was completely distraught. But one thing that is a very good trait about me and one thing that I, that I know about my personality is that I have always been the kind of person that if you tell me no, I'm gonna go out and create my, la my yes. I do not like the word no in some, in some instances. And if I hear the word no, and I know that I have the power to create my yes, I am going to create my yes. So that same mentality is what got me into real estate. Because when I got that third no, and when I realized how heartbroken I was about us not getting they being able to get into that property, I said, you know what? Forget it. Forget you. Forget you. Forget you. Forget you too. You not even with the company no more, but forget you too. <laughs> I got so fed up and I said, you know what? I'm going to real estate school. I looked at my husband. I said, well, my, my, he was my boyfriend now. Now we're married. But I looked at him. I said, I'm going to real estate school because I got to figure out what's going on. What is this process like? And how can we keep ending up at this dead stop? This does not feel good. And I have to figure out a way to do this on my own. Even if I have to self-educate in order to get myself to go, I'm going to get here. My husband was like, okay, go ahead and do what you got to do. So I signed up for real estate classes. And at that moment, I was working the, mo the morning shift with the police department. So um, I would go to like roll call at like four o'clock in the morning. And then I would work up until like four o'clock that evening. And I would leave my job and take an hour drive all the way to the opposite side of town just to sit in the class for like two to three hours. And then I would leave the class, go home. Class wasn't over until 10. The class was an hour away from my house. Go home, wouldn't get home until it burned about 11, then wake up and do it all over again. So I was like extremely, extremely determined. So that's what got me started in real estate was because I had my own personal trials and tribulations that I experienced in the home buying process that made me wanted to get started in real estate just for the, for, just for the sake of me reaching my own personal goal. If I be honest, it wasn't for me to get in real estate to help other people. It was for me to reach my own personal goal. So once I passed the class, I started to do a lot more research on the home buying process and what it looked like and how to sell and what the residential contracts of sales look like, what addendums were, what contingencies were, I, what financing was. I started to really learn the, learn the loan process and sign it out. And then that's when I said, okay, now I think I got it. And my very, 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 very first sale in real estate as a licensed real estate agent was my very own home. So I end up selling myself my own house. So I definitely reached the goal and I'm sitting in this beautiful property today. Um, so that was really something that was exciting for me. And after I was able to do that, you guys, I felt this abundance of joy. Not only joy, but I, I felt this abundance of strength, of tenacity, of resilience. Not only that, I felt this abundance of pride. Like, uh, you said I couldn't do it and I did it. Uh. <laughs> I felt so amazing. Like, it was the best feeling ever. ever. And then once I closed the deal and realized I get, could get, I got paid for closing the deal, it started to sink into me like, yo... There are other people out here that are battling the same things that I'm battling, that have went through the same things that I've went through, that don't understand the home buying process, that is very afraid of the home buying process, that is very confused about the home buying process. There are people out here with the home buying process intimidates them. There are people out here who have tried the home buying process and they felt like that they were betrayed by an Asian or a lender and it's just never ever gonna happen for them. There are more people out here like me. And so because of that, it made me say, listen, 
I gotta help them because in that moment, I started to realize that my superpower was for my ability to break down the most complex things and make them simple for the average person. And so once I realized that, I'm like, real estate is the way to go. I have to do this. So I was a dual agent working for the FBI and working real estate um, like together as a dual. But I wasn't closing any transactions, of course, because I didn't have the time, honestly. I just had enough time to sell myself my very own home. And then that's when Trump started to campaign. I got assigned to Donald Trump's campaign. I went in, I ended up traveling. I was in Ohio. Once I got back from his RNC in Ohio, I looked at my husband. I said, I can't do this no more. I don't know what the future looks like for me. I don't know where I'm going. I don't even know how I'm going to do it, but I'm leaving this job. And my husband's like, are you sure? And I was like, yes. Mind you, I hadn't really had any sales. And he was like, are you sure? And I was like, yes, I'm absolutely sure because I can't do this any longer. It's taking up my time. I can't do it. And furthermore, there are people out here that need me in this industry. There are people in the community that need me. They need my knowledge. They need my skills. And they need my superpower in order to help them get to this goal of building wealth through real estate. So I left. I left the bureau. And I have not looked back since then. I bought my house November of 2016. I left the bureau in May of 2017, okay? So that's what, six months, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, six months after I sold myself my very own home. And again, I was my very, very, very first client, my very, very first sale. Six months after being licensed and selling myself my very own home, I left my job and pursued real estate full time. And now here I am, this top producing agent in real estate, the team lead of the Hearst Home Team with Samson Properties. Um, I've done over 100 transactions in a year. In 2021, I did over 107. Top sec I was the second top team with PG County, Prince George's County um, Association of Realtors. Top 20 team within the brokerage. A lot of amazing things have happened. And not only have I been able to transform the lives of the consumer, but I've also been able to transform the lives of the professional, the ones that work with me, the agents that did not have the confidence or the knowledge. I have been able to transform the lives of both. So that's just a little bit about me. That's a little bit about my story and how I got started in real estate. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. Be, be sure to comment below and subscribe to my channel, you guys. I'm bringing so much amazing information out here and I'm going to be sharing so much about my life as well so this is not just going to be about real estate and how to buy a house and how to sell a house no we're talking about the CEO I'm going to be talking about how I made it to my first million talking about what it's like being a child of an addict talking about what it was like to lose my father to an addiction marriage life lifestyle motherhood CEO real estate all things encompass of me will be given on this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.